When we sit down at the dinner table, we never consider the dinnerware to be a form of design or who it was designed by. Russell Wright made himself a household name in the 60s as an industrial designer, creating unique and timeless dinnerware. Wright was born on the 3rd of April, 1904 in Lebanon, Ohio. He went on to study at a number of institutions throughout his younger days. From 1920 to 1924, Wright studied at both the Cincinnati Academy of Art and also Princeton University. At the age of 20, Wright left for New York City and was engaged in set design for seven years. During these years, he'd worked with a number of different employers. As his set design career in the theatre was coming to an end in 1927, Wright married his wife, Mary Einstein. Mary was a designer, sculptor and had an eye for business. In 1932, Wright went on to design something that hadn't been seen before. Stove to tableware, as he called it. A collection of dining accessories. Three years later, together Mary and Russell moved on to form Wright's Accessories, a design business that was devoted to creating small decorations for the home. Not only was he known for dinnerware, but also for the wooden furniture that provided him with success between the 1930s through to the 1950s. It was Wright's trademark signature found on his collections that made him the first person to be identified with a lifestyle marked product, allowing others such as Martha Stewart and Ralph Lauren to do the same. Wright's next big design achievement was his famous American Modern Ceramic Dinnerware collection. The design made use of curve, round edges and earthy colours. Manufactured in 1939 by Stobenville Pottery, it was reportedly Wright's greatest success as over 14 million pieces were sold by 1959 when production had ended. Some products from his collection are still handmade by Brower Potteries and are proud to carry this distinctive classic collection. American Modern was featured in the exhibition What Was Good Design, 1944 to 1956, and this exhibition was made to boost Americans' identity and the economy. The curator, Edgar Kaufman Jr., coined the term good design to promote everyday objects that economically combined beauty and function, aligned with the precepts of the modern movement. As a designer chosen in this exhibition, Russell Wright was able to meet this vision of what was good design in a number of ways. Good design makes a product useful. Wright designed American Modern not to only be pleasing to the eye, but to be useful. Every item in his collection has a purpose and the product is able to meet the purpose and the needs of the consumer. Good design makes a product understandable. Wright has been able to design the dinnerware collection using organic light qualities. By extending the arch of the pora, it shows the consumer instantly what the piece is designed for, to be a jug. Designing the handles to stick out further also makes for the product to be more useful in day-to-day -day life but not accidentally burning your hands. Good design is honest. To look at American modern, it is truly a case of what you see is what you get. Only just by looking at the pieces, we can see immediately that they are made of ceramic and its simplicity speaks for itself. Good design is long lasting. Bright used ceramic as it is a durable material and was made to be stacked compactly, requiring less space the simplicity of the shape is intended to speed the washing and drying process. The rounded and raised rims are also designed to reduce breakage. At the time, Wright wanted to step away from plastic that was being used and create a product that was long lasting and possibly something that could be passed on to future generations. Good design is as little design as possible. He chose a very simplistic design for dinnerware by using simple shapes and earthy colours. Using the material in the way he did allowed for his pieces to be timeless. Considering it was designed 77 years ago, they are still considered to suit a number of styles. In Wright's words, to describe his collection like a little black dress. In 1950, Mary and Russell then wrote A Guide to Easier Living, 
This book expressed their ideas for contemporary home living and household accessories that could be mass produced at affordable prices. This was a guide to decrease housework and increase leisure time. It was published by Simon Schouster in 1951 and was reprinted in 2003. Unfortunately, in the year 1952, Wright lost his wife to cancer, which left him to raise their two-year-old daughter, Annie. This resulted in Wright closing his office in New York City and retiring to Manitoga in Garrison, New York City in 1961. On a portion of his 75 acres, he designed and built Dragon Rock with architect David Levitt a modernist home that inhibits the landscape rather than ruling it, another design ahead of his time. Russell Wright passed away in 1976. After his death, Annie had overseen all the operations and licensing of his long life works. 20 years later, Manitoga was listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It is now open to the public and operated by the non-profit Russell Wright Design Centre. A legacy to his years of devotion, passionate work and the belief that the dinner table was the heart of every home. I hope myself to be able to develop my own designs in the way that Wright did by letting the materials and products speak for itself. I have learnt that the design needs to be kept honest. The product shouldn't be wrapped in nonsense that doesn't need to be there. A great product is able to sell itself. Some of the most iconic designs contain minimalistic and simplistic characteristics. Industrial design is an important element in today's society. I appreciate well-designed products and one day hope to incorporate his passion and dedication into communication design, a passion of mine, and create simplistic and timeless pieces by peeling back the layers, allowing my design to speak for itself. After all, a little black dress is not simply just a little black dress.